back to another vlog. I'm so excited because it is Friday afternoon right now and I've just finished up doing all the things I like needed to do for the day. I still have one load of laundry in the washer, but after that, Max is going to be here. It's like 4.40 right now. He's going to be here at like 5.30 and we're going to go grab dinner tonight. I'm so excited. I thought I could film a little weekend in my life because... I don't know, I haven't been able to just film a weekend at home in such a long time. My travel schedule the last few months has been absolutely insane. You guys, ever since November, I've been traveling so much. I went Paris to New York to Mexico to Aspen to New York to Italy for two weeks. And then last weekend, I was at a lake house with all of my girlfriends for a big girls trip. And it just feels like all the traveling has been nonstop, which is definitely not a bad thing but i am just like ready to be in my own environment and to be home so i have this weekend at home and then next week i go back to new york for a girls trip with all of my friends my college friends last weekend i was with high school friends next weekend i'm gonna be with college friends which is so exciting i'm super blessed to be able to go on all of these trips and i know that but i don't know traveling definitely takes a toll on your body and i'm the type of person like i'm such a homebody that i get really bad anxiety traveling and i honestly really do prefer to be at home most of the time but that's what's up i'm gonna go like switch the laundry over and then probably chill out on the couch and needlepoint for a little bit you guys i just took up needlepointing this is the pattern i'm working on this is the very first pattern that i've ever done and i've only completed the like top left corner of the background it's two little dogs on these pedestals and i absolutely love it it's literally the most relaxing hobby ever if you need a new hobby try needle pointing especially if you're like a crafty person i'm honestly not but if you were a crafty person it probably would be way easier for you to learn this but yeah i think i'm gonna get this made into a pillow i haven't really decided yet but it's been like the best little project so i kind of want to like chill and sit on the couch for a little bit and do this while i wait for max to get here I need to know do you guys put your pajamas in the dryer because personally i don't like my lake pajamas or any pajamas that are made of the pima cotton i think roller rabbit is also made of the pima cotton but i have always heard to not put them in the dryer there's been a few occasions where i've just been lazy and i have put them in the dryer and they've turned out fine like i've never shrunk them or anything but i will say i think i was doing that on low heat but yeah, I just like always hang mine to dry, which I know it's probably not great to like hang them wet, but I don't really have a ton of surface area in this laundry room, as you can probably see. So there isn't a good place to lay them out. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys put your Pima Cotton, like Roller Rabbit, Lake Pajamas, anything that's really soft in the dryer. Because I'm afraid to shrink them and also afraid to make them pill. Okay, hey, it's a little while later and Max is going to pick me up and we're going to head to Campisi's, which is like this Italian restaurant in Dallas. It's honestly super casual. Like you can go in leggings and like workout clothes and stuff. So I'm wearing this, just like my New Balances, some leggings from Revolve and my sloppy joe sweatshirt i changed sweatshirts because i wanted to be in like something a little bit warmer okay we're going to campesies <laughs> influencer boyfriend life okay this is literally for my friend quinn but this is the best dinner salad in all of dallas we're at campesies got a bread uh, bread basket but i'm like so embarrassed to have my camera out right now lol but it's like the most vinegary like olivey like peppery salad in the world it's so good i love it okay here's our pizza yeah, and we got pepperoni, jalapenos, and chicken. We're going to CVS to get candy. What candy are you getting? Are you getting any? Uh, I'll probably get gummy worms. Max always gets gummy worms when I met him, you guys. He used to eat like a... I can't remember in Fiji, your room, you always have empty gummy worms. Back and just My like, grandma would send me Yes, gummy. his grandma would send him gummy worms. And I was like, is this all this guy eats? And then he told me, he's like, yeah, I only eat dinner. Because I wake up every day, and then I have like class at 2, and then cl class is over at like 5. And then the Fiji kitchen would have dinner. I like remember you saying that, and I remember thinking like, huh. Is this guy okay? But yeah, I'm probably gonna get like some exotic things. Maybe I'll give a, give you guys a little haul afterwards. I don't know. I kind of like. I'm in the mood to try some new things. I'm not getting any chocolate. I don't want chocolate. I want like 
super artificial, like scary candy. Like, uh. Don't get the warheads again. Like, warheads. No. Yes, I love warheads. Those taste so chemical. I love chemicals. Okay, so here's what I got. We only got two things. Everyone's gonna hate me because nobody else likes these candies but me, like I swear. Okay, Mike and Ike's is the first one. Like, why are these bad? Like, I also like dots. Like, if that tells you anything about my taste. And then also, <laughs> the 30 classic flavors jelly beans. At least it's not like this uh, Harry Potter jelly beans where there's like No, but I, it's the one. one with like popcorn and like oh. licorice flavors. Oh. I, those aren't my favorite ones, but like I like the surprise aspect. I'm literally about to lay in my bed and needlepoint and eat my mic and I. I'm so excited. This is like the most Amanda setup ever. This is like literally my ideal night. Max is getting ready for bed. I just took an everything shower. Like, you know, one of those showers where you shave your legs, you wash your hair, you exfoliate your body. Like, I scrubbed off all of the, like, gross self-tanner patches that were accumulating around my neck. It's, like, the best feeling ever. Wait, you guys know how I was talking about not putting your roller rabbit pajamas in the dryer? The tag that I'm reading right now literally says tumble dry low. Wait, did that just happen for a reason? I've never read the tag before and I was literally wondering that today. Max and I are gonna watch a movie. I don't really know what we're gonna watch yet. It's supposed to be my pick because I'm on my period and like, so I get to pick, you know? But uh, otherwise, like I'll be in a bad mood if we don't watch what I want. I don't know. I was kind of thinking like Sound of Music, but maybe that's a little too torturous for him to watch on the laptop for four hours in my bed. I can't decide, but I'm just gonna like needlepoint and do that and I'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning you guys. Happy Saturday. It is like 9, I think 05 right now. I'm going to have to leave here in a minute because I signed up for a stretching and meditation class at 9 30 and then i'm going to a pilates class at 11 so it's going to be kind of like a wellness saturday i'm so excited i haven't had anything like this in a really long time and the place that i'm going to is breathe in dallas and it's like a wellness meditation place so we're gonna head there and do that. I have like no plans this afternoon. I really wanna work on my needle point. I think Max is gonna come over again tonight. He just left to go watch the Arsenal game. If you guys didn't know, he's like a huge soccer fan. So he keeps up with the soccer team called Arsenal. It's not like very popular in the US, but it's a UK soccer team. He's obsessed with them and he never misses a game. So even if the game's at like 6 a.m., he'll wake up at the crack of dawn to go watch it. It's insane. So he went home to go do that and like do his laundry and stuff and I also need to like return my rent the runway to UPS and everything and I need to return an order to roller rabbit hey guys I just got to Pilates and I finished up the meditation class you guys it was so good like the whole room smells like a spa they have incense going there's like these mats on the floor you lay down the teacher has such a calming voice. It was just the most relaxing thing ever. And I don't know, I just feel like I need that in my life. Like sometimes life gets so crazy and it's nice to just like book a class and have an excuse to completely disconnect for an amount of time. So I think I'm gonna go back. I did the thing where you get seven days of classes for $50. It's like a new intro, like new student intro pass thing i don't know what it's called exactly i'm trying to go every single day up until i go to new york on thursday i think i even signed up for one thursday morning before we get on the plane just because i really want to go into the girls trip like feeling really peaceful and collected and just i don't know like ready to rumble i've been traveling so much the past few weeks that I just feel very, I don't even know, like bamboozled. Like, I don't know what the word is. Like, I just feel very off balance. And I need to like figure out what my routine here is again and like just have some peace of mind. I'm the type of person that thrives on routine, I guess. So having that is definitely helpful to me. I'm 
about to go into Pilates and then I will talk to you guys after. Okay, I just got out of Pilates, but I'm gonna call Max because I had this idea when I was, you know, just on the Pilates reformer that I really wanted to go to lunch. Okay, I kind of want to go to lunch because hear me out. I haven't used my credit card yet and I really want to use it and I was reading the little pamphlet thing this morning and it says I get 3% back on like everything or on like food. Um, well, I just, just ate like oh. breakfast, so like earlier. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> Okay, I I don't want to be like I want to go shopping, but I was looking at this girl's workout set in my Pilates class And I was like, ugh, I really want a new workout set. So maybe I'll like Scoot on over to lululemon and use my credit card for that. That is literally so bad This is the reason why I wasn't gonna get a credit card because I thought I was gonna go into credit card debt and only go shopping with it, which is not necessarily true, but like I know I'm not gonna do that, but I don't know why I really just want a new workout set. I also need to get some groceries and I haven't eaten today, so it's just kind of like, hmm. Like, the truth is, I really just want you to come with me to get my card, like, use my credit card for the first time. Okay. But, All right, well, how about, like, 2 o'clock? I'll probably be done with my laundry and stuff. And then we can do whatever. I decided to get kava. Shaking it. I honestly don't think I've ever shaken one of these bowls before, but then it occurred to me this is like the same thing as a salad, and I should be shaking it. I feel like a Kardashian every single time I do that. Okay. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Kava, but it's like a Mediterranean chipotle, basically. Like you pick all your toppings and make a bowl if you want to. I also think you can make some sort of like pita sandwich thing, which would be the equivalent to a burrito, but I don't really know what that is. I've never ordered it. I'm more of a bowl girl, but I get half super greens, half white rice, the grilled chicken, tomatoes, cucumbers, pickles, pickled red onion, the crazy feta, regular hummus, and then the yogurt dill dressing. Wow, I really have that order memorized. <laughs> and I also got a side of like the pita bread. Let's try this. Mm. Like it looks really fire. Mm. Yum. My friend Quinn told me I need to be showing more food in my vlogs. Oh well. So Quinn, this is for you. Hi guys, we're at the mall now. Say hi Max. I showered and got ready and now we're gonna go use my credit card for the very first time TBD to see what I buy But I think it's gonna be something at Lululemon or Aloe because I really want to get a new workout set And we actually just got so lucky with the best parking spot ever like we're at Neiman Marcus by the flagpole at North Park and like Look how freaking close you can kind of see how we are To Neiman's and it's so busy like there was no spots. It's actually insane Where did we leave off? Oh, I think I left off when we were gonna go to the mall. So I went to the mall yesterday and it was a total bust for me. Max got two pairs of shorts at Aloe and I didn't buy a single thing. So I have not used, yeah, he's wearing the shorts. I have not used my credit card yet. Um, so maybe that's gonna be next vlog that I use a credit card. But right now it's Sunday morning. We went to dinner with my parents last night at their house. We watched this insane movie that probably no one should watch. What was it called? A triangle of sadness triangle of sadness actually if you're like an artsy movie person or if you like anything that's like the menu or like get out or any of those movies you would probably like it but it was traumatic to say the least but it was a really good movie but it was really traumatic and then we just went home and went to bed and now we're here and we're going to shugs to get a bagel and that's all that happened right yeah and I'm the worst driver in the world, and Max is actively bracing himself on the other side of the car. Well, it's scary. You keep looking at the camera when you should be looking at the road. Okay, so we have to eat in the car because there was no seats left. But this is, like, what the bagels look like. They're so good. I get the spicy sugar on a salt bagel. It's, like, really, really yummy. It has egg, bacon, a hash brown inside, and mine is pepper jack cheese. Yum.
guys it's a little bit later now and i'm turning on the camera because i'm getting a tad a tad tiny hint of the sunday blues max went home because he has a big week um for work this week and we honestly laid on the couch all day together and I think it's just because I wasn't very productive today that I'm feeling sad. But also, I need to remind myself that it's okay to not have productive days. Like, some days it's good to just rest and recharge. But I always feel really guilty for some reason when I do that. We watched the show Lost. That's the show that we binged today. It's about a plane crash. It used to be on ABC, like, ages ago. I remember my parents briefly watching it when I was younger. But it's so good. If you like, like, thrillers sci-fi drama like anything kind of like it's even a little bit scary i don't know i would say it's like a thriller drama but it's about a plane crash on this island um from this plane that was going to la to sydney and it's super interesting so if you if you haven't seen it maybe check it out then i went to another one of those meditation classes and i literally think i fell asleep in it this time you guys so i don't know i'm gonna try a few more out but i'm still trying to figure out if that's gonna be a good use of my time or not i think i need to give it a solid like week before i make up an opinion and try out a few different classes but yeah okay anyways but it's sunday night so i'm gonna end off the vlog here thanks for tagging along with me for the weekend i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe okay bye